Larry Davis, first of all, is a scholar. He's an academic through and through. Thoughtful, sort of direct plainness to him. He had a way of making people feel as if important issues were their issues, not just somebody else's. He was an interesting character. Dr. Davis was like that cool uncle. Dean Davis was kind of intimidating. If Larry was to look up and say, Valerie, can I see you in my office for a minute? I knew that the principal was calling me in. He'd go back and forth from being very jovial to very serious to very, you know, kind of um, bombastic. He had a sense of a uh... Almost a little bit of a swag to him, you know? You know, he had his swagger. If you go to lunch with him, you know, you always had on a tie with him. So he'd take his tie, throw it over his shoulder before he'd eat, and then, he, you know, he'd go in and get busy. But, uh, you know, he's going to stay sharp. He's going to keep that tie, <laughs> keep those ties clean. I don't think I ever had a lunch with Larry uh, that didn't leave me with a, a new thought or two. When we were recruiting Larry, we knew that we were recruiting somebody who already was a star. He had come from uh, one of the top schools of social work in the country, Washington University of St. Louis, and everybody knew of WashU. I knew that he was being hired to elevate the research infrastructure in the School of Social Work. Larry often said, uh, it's one thing to have an idea, it's another thing to have backers. That is the one. It's one thing to have an idea, you know, but it's, it's, it's another to have a supporter. Like it's one thing to have an idea, it's another thing to have a backer. That's just one of a hundred famous sayings from, from, from Dean Davis. Larry knew that he had backers at Pitt. I think when Dr. Davis came here in 2002, Race research wasn't the essential component of research that we see today. The idea of creating the center was visionary at the time. No one else in the country had a center like the one that Larry founded and uh, then built. I mean, he was crisp. He was incredibly proud of the fact that it existed and that Pitt supported it. He was really adamant that it have race in the title, that it didn't get watered down to be diversity or some other more generic term. On the scholarly side, you can just say, well, and then he created a journal to go along with the uh, center. Uh, or you can say he created uh, this regular series of programs for the campus community and the broader uh, Pittsburgh community that uh, attracted people. Over the course of, you know, 15, 20 years, we probably have one of the largest libraries of race research lectures in the country. One of the biggest achievements uh, of the center and of Larry was the big conference, the biggest there had ever been that he hosted on uh, race in America. Even, you know, beyond his physical life, he lives on uh, through that work and many others. And in many ways, the event this evening is designed to celebrate that and acknowledge it. So currently, I'm the interim director on the Center on Race and Social Problems. I'm also the, the vice provost for faculty person development. So one of my highest priorities, particularly as it relates to the center, is getting a director, a new person who will come in, who will take the foundation that we have, build on it, and really expand the work uh, far beyond where certainly I'm able to take it and even beyond where uh, its founder brought it to. Larry E. Davis played such a significant and critical role in my professional and career development. I think my greatest academic accomplishments are going to be coming in the future as I take a very big step and accept the position as the new director of the Center on Race and Social Problems here at the University of Pittsburgh in the School of Social Work. To be able to build upon the foundation that was developed here by Dean Davis and to play a role in propelling this center into the future, seeing it to take its rightful place as an internationally recognized center of academic excellence, where we are engaging in rigorous applied research 
that leads to the solution of race and social justice, where we do research that we put race front and center unapologetically, and ultimately, a center that's focused on doing work where we can see improvements here in Pittsburgh, our region, the country, the world, to make it a more equitable and just place for everyone. These are big shoes to fill, but I'm up for the challenge. Dean Larry Davis, your legacy lives through us.